Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Camp Blood Media. Josh here, and it's finally time for the It's Me, Billy teaser trailer. Now, if you don't know, It's Me, Billy is a direct sequel to Black Christmas 1974, set nearly 50 years after the original movie. It follows Sam, the granddaughter of Jess from the original, and her and her friends are going to her grandmother's country mansion for Christmas Eve, but little does she know, she's going to come face to face with Billy, the ghost of her grandmother's Christmas past. Alright guys, I'm super excited for this, so let's get into the trailer. Disclaimer. I can't wait for this. I really gotta start taking care of myself, Emma. I don't wanna end up like her. Oh. You're not like her. You might be. You're strong. Like your grandma. I can only imagine Jess's reaction knowing that Billy came after her granddaughter. Oh, that's a great looking house. So. Do you think the killer's still out there? A <laughs> wrinkly old man. Oh no. Hello? So it's not even that far away. All right, guys. So that was the teaser trailer for It's Me, Billy. It definitely got me super hyped for the movie. I like that they're talking about Jess during the trailer and how they don't really reference exactly what happened in the original Black Christmas, but they know something happened to her grandmother. And they're just kind of like, well, I hope she gets over it. And it's like, well... All of her friends from that time period were brutally murdered, and I guess somehow she managed to get out of the house at the end of Black Christmas, because if you guys haven't seen the original Black Christmas, it ends with the killer still being alive, so Jess must have got out of the house at some point between the cops leaving and him still being up in the attic. It'll be interesting to see if there's some sort of like flashback to her escaping Billy once again back in the 70s or if it's just going to be fully focused on the granddaughter and her friends in present day. It's going to be kind of funny to see if her friends don't take the story that her grandmother told that seriously because that's a kind of a trope that happens in a lot of horror movies. Halloween 2018 for example, people knew that she was hunted by Michael Myers and they didn't really seem to care that much. They're all just basically telling her to get over it and then Michael Myers shows up and starts killing people and then they're like, oh, this is why you were upset. So it'll be interesting to see if something similar to that happens in this movie, where her friends are kind of skeptical of the story until they actually encounter Billy. I'm also curious to see how Billy ends up in this mansion, if it's just been somewhere he's living because he knows Jess owns it, or maybe he's just been trying to track her down for 50 years and he thought he found her, but it actually turns out to be her granddaughter that he finds. I'm definitely super excited to see what happens, and I hope that Jess's granddaughter makes it through the movie. Towards the end of the teaser, when Sam gets the phone call from Billy, that was so awesome. It was such a throwback to the 1974 Black Christmas. Both of the voices in the phone call sounded perfect. It sounded like he said, I found you. So maybe he does think it's Jess, but maybe at this point, 50 years later, he doesn't give a crap who he's after. He just wants to kill someone from that family to get his revenge. Like the trailer says, It's Me, Billy is coming spring 2021, so it's really not that far away. I'm super excited to get into it, and as soon as there's any more news about it, I'll definitely make sure to let you know. Alright guys, until the next one, have a good one.